Hello friends and welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, October 25th and it is a somewhat chilly fall morning here in southeastern Pennsylvania. We got some rain uh, coming in probably later today. Uh, sporadic showers, such is life. Right now, it's beautiful but a bit chilly. Uh, we'll get to the pipes in a minute, but I needed to start off by sharing this beautiful, beautiful mug that I got as a gift for my goddaughter, Ilva. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, this is Ilva, and you should go and check out the Dunning-Kruger show. Uh, I'll put a link below if, if you're not familiar with uh, with Couch and the Dunning-Kruger show. My, our buddy Couch is one of the funniest people I know, and his sense of humor is just I don't even know how to describe it. It's 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 dry, but it's also very, very interesting, and it, he makes me laugh all the time. So, Ilva wanted to send me this mug. Ilva is quite photogenic, and I am quite quite proud to have it. And you know, especially given that she is now my goddaughter, <laughs> I I got this mug and. It, it, couch sent this to me. Well, Ilva sent it to me. I I laughed myself sick over this, and I'm not exactly sure why. It's partly due to the expression on her poor little face. I mean, she's she's adorable, but just look at that. <laughs> but it's also just the, the you know the whole story that's evolved around this, where I'm a godfather to a dog, and it, it just it's just hilarious. So. I spent a good chunk of, I think this came on Thursday, maybe it was Wednesday, a good part of that day, just every time I saw this thing I would laugh. Um, oh, it was Wednesday because it was actually in the background of my Wednesday uh, Roadway Ramble video and I didn't know it was back there until I was editing and the whole time I was editing I was laughing because I kept seeing it. Um, but I showed it to my wife and my wife, God bless her, she barely knows what I'm, what I'm talking about, you know, because she, she doesn't care. And I said, look, my goddaughter sent this to me. And she looked at it and she, you know, oh, what a cute little doggy. And then she says, you know, we've got two, two, female, girl, uh, two female dogs and she calls them the girls. She said, you know, the girls are going to be jealous. And I responded, well, yeah, but they're godless heathens. And my wife just, without thinking, just said, yeah, that's true, and walked away. <laughs> and it started me laughing all the time. Uh, Wednesday was a great day. So, thank you, Ilva. Much appreciated. And if you'd like to have your own Ilva mug, please get in touch with Cal. She'll take care of you. <laughs> or at least help you. <laughs> How's that? I don't, I don't want Couch buying uh, buying Yelva mugs for everyone. I just meant that he might be able to uh, to 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 have more made that you could then purchase in some way. Uh, not that we're selling Yelva mugs. So, um, wonderful coffee mugs aside, and it, it, it's not only a wonderful coffee mug, but it's wonderful coffee. Uh, Eight o'clock, a little bit of creamer. Uh, I had a fantastic day yesterday. I've got so much to tell you about, and uh, you know, more, more kindness, more, more great people, um, and and a new pipe. I, I mean, this is just this is a wonderful, wonderful conversation to have. So first off, I want to show you this pipe. And I'm only going to show it to you quickly because we're going to talk about it more. But this is a Boswell. This is Boswell's take on the Bing's favorite. I have been. Uh, jealous of several folk, including my friend Eric S. and uh, Pipe Fool, Andrew, who have one of these, and I really wanted one, and I just never quite pulled the trigger on it. But I got one now, and I'm going to put some Haunted Bookshop in this and, and smoke it. I smoked it yesterday for the first time, and that's kind of the story that I want to tell, is this, uh, what I got up to yesterday, but also uh, how this pipe came to be. So, 
I have a uh, now dear friend named Jack, Jack Kurtz. Jack is uh, a, a, con a common commenter, that's hard to say, he comments frequently, there we go, on my channel, he shows up in the live streams very, very often, he watches them all the time. Uh, and <clears throat> Jack got in touch with me, and I've known him for a while, he's he's purchased uh, cob stems and off of me and stuff, so it's not like Jack's a stranger, but we had never talked, you know, who were, it's all through email and comments. So he got in touch with me, uh, oh, I don't know, a month, month and a half ago, and <clears throat> said, you know, he knew that I was into, into fly fishing, and he had some fly fishing paraphernalia, and we'll just, we'll just leave it vague for the moment, associated with a guy named Vince Marinero. Now, if you're not into the history of Pennsylvania fly fishing, you have no idea who Vince Marinero was. I am very much into the history of Pennsylvania fly fishing, and Vince Marinero, if you're allowed to have a fly fishing hero, Vince was my fly fishing hero. Uh, he was he was a, a, a brilliant man. He developed his own fly rod tapers and, and made his own bamboo fly rods and nobody understood and it's only just recently that the tapers have been released by his family uh, he wouldn't tell people how he did it and they cast unbelievably well I haven't made a bamboo fly rod in quite a while I do want to make at least one more and that one more is going to be one of the marinara tapers. I, I, I have to do that before before I'm done. So, anyway, Jack gets in touch with me and he says, you know, I got this this uh, fly fly tying and fly fishing stuff. I got a fly rod I'd love to show you and a reel that were owned by Vince Marinaro. And I thought, what? You know, that I I that should be in a museum. And he said, oh yeah, I got that. I also got some, some books that he signed, and I got a bunch of fly tying uh, stuff that I can't use anymore. And he said, I'd really like you to have it. And I said, well, he, you know, he, he wanted me to have it, and I didn't quite know how to value such things, you know. And I said, well, you know, what would you like in return? And he said, well... How about um, you pick out some of your pipes? And you know, he said he'd really love to own a pipe that, that I had owned. And I thought, well, I'd love to do that, but I got two kinds of pipes. I explained this to Jack. <clears throat> I've got pipes that nobody wants but me, you know, like old medicos and things like that. And I've got pipes that are artisan pipes made by people that I consider friends and they all have stories behind them and I just can't part with them so I said you know that's not going to work how about if I get you a pipe made you know is there any maker that you're interested in he immediately said Boswell uh, and he you know loves Boswell pipes and I said okay what kind and we got to talking I told him about the Bing that I wanted to get Boswell to make, and he said, well, why don't you get two of those, and then we'll have the, the same pipe. So, that's what we did. I'm going to put a picture in here of the uh, the two pipes together, uh, and they were, to, as they were together in, uh, in J.M. Boswell's shop, and then they were shipped out. I got this sometime the week prior to this last one. Uh, and I'm not sure exactly when Jack's uh, uh, arrived, but at any rate, we both had them in our hands this week, and neither one of us smoked them, and uh, we, we worked it out, and on Saturday, I drove out to visit Jack. Jack lives about uh, about two hours from, from where I am, and we had a fantastic time. You know, we had our first first smoke of these Boswells. Wonderful pipes. 
I told him this is this is going to be a favorite, and this is definitely not the last Boswell that I'll own. So we enjoyed our Boswells together for the first time. We smoked Haunted Bookshop. We smoked some uh, some of that Jupiter Antique Burley. Uh, tried a couple of other pipes. Jack showed me his his Boswell collection. He he showed me this beautiful beautiful Leonard fly rod uh, that was owned by by Vince Marinaro, uh, and just just to have been able to handle that was you know such a privilege. And he just blew me away with his generosity because I was expecting a couple of books and you know and he had he 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 had uh, books. I'm going to put a picture, but I have to, I have to talk through the picture, so I'll I'll put it in later. <clears throat> but he gave me, I think it was four books, um, a big box of fly tying uh, material that is just, I, I told him it's a treasure chest, and it really is. It, it'll, it'll take me days to sort through all of this. And a fly tying desk that I'll put a picture of in right here. Uh, this, this desk was made by Jack's father, and I just am so honored to, to own this now and to be able to use it. And I will, I will use it. Um, you know, it was it was kind of Jack, but it was also, you know, something that I, I feel very is very special because it was made by his dad. So that was the trade we made. You know, Jack got himself a, a new Boswell pipe, and I got these this wonderful uh, fly tying stuff and some really really interesting fly tying books and not just any fly tying books, but, you know, for example, this book here, A Modern Dry Fly Code, which is written by Vince Marinaro. Um, I'm not sure, yeah, okay. Autographed by Vince. And, again, the man's a, fly, uh, a hero of mine, so to own this is just unbelievable. Uh, this book by Charlie Fox is one that I've been looking for for quite a while and uh, Charlie is another PA fly fishing legend and this one is also autographed so quite quite wonderful and on top of this and, and like I said uh, Jack gave me four books total uh, so this is just two of them but <laughs> the generosity continues because my friend uh, Brian Quilty, who you'll recall, maybe about a month ago I showed you, he had sent me some fly tying material and some vices and some books because uh, he no longer needed his, his fly tying things. Um, and he wanted to send me uh, some books. So he sent me, uh, I think, five books. And I'm going to put a picture in here that shows the, the fly tying desk from Jack with uh, the four books that Jack gave me on the left hand side and on the right hand side are the books that uh, Brian Quilty gave me and I'm really looking forward to reading these this this one uh, Roderick Haig Brown uh, Roderick High Brown I think is how it's pronounced on uh, The River Never Sleeps or A River Never Sleeps and Nick Lyons A Secret Fly Fishing Life uh, these are these are really good um, winter reading for a guy that likes to fish, as are uh, the books that, that Jack provided. Some of the books that Jack sent were more, uh, or that Jack gave me, are more technical, and they're things that I've read before, uh, In the Ring of the Rise by Vince Marinaro, uh, as an example, or The Modern Dry Fly Code. But there's also uh, more of a story behind some of them and it's just going to be really wonderful to be able to sit back this winter smoke a pipe and read through all of these books so jack i can't thank you enough and i still have more to say about jack brian uh i can't thank you enough either and uh i i hope that jack you really enjoy that that pipe and we're going to be getting together again very soon because uh, i've got a lot of tobacco to share and we we got a a lot of uh time and stories to share. And Brian, I'm, I'm working on a way to repay your generosity. It's a bit complicated because Brian lives up in Canada, so getting tobacco across the border just doesn't work well. 
Uh, but I'm, I'm working on something for you, buddy. So that's all great, but the best thing that happened yesterday was not that I got stuff or that we got new pipes. It was that I got to sit down with a friend and spend a, a couple of hours with him smoking our, you know, matching pipes for the first time, smoking other pipes, sharing stories, talking about uh, his life, which is really interesting. Uh, Jack has led a very, very interesting life. Uh, just just being able to spend some time with a fellow pipe smoker is a great gift. And, you know, I, in a way, I don't like doing these sorts of videos because I feel like I'm saying, look, people give me stuff. And I, what I really am trying to say is thank you. You know, that's, that's the... That's the reason I do this, is I think these people need to be thanked, deserve to be thanked, and I want to thank them. So, thank you, Jack, for a, a, a wonderful day yesterday, for, for being such a gracious host, and for sharing some, so much good tobacco with me. I, uh, I had a wonderful time. And thank you, Brian, for your continued friendship and generosity. Uh, you, you, you guys have both made my winter <laughs> special, I can tell you right from the outset, because i got so much fly tying material to sort through, I've got so many great fly fishing books to read, this is going to be a, uh, a good one. What else is going on here? So we got tomorrow at 8 p.m. the premiere of, the, uh, of my annual Halloween video. Uh, and that, of course, will be available for eternity, as I said the other night. Uh, yeah, the, the video will, will become available at 8 p.m. tomorrow, uh, but at 8 p.m. tomorrow it'll run for the first time, and you can kind of do a... Well, it, it will be a live stream type environment where you can chat live with other folks only during that first showing of it. So it's it's about... I don't know exactly how long yet because I still need to make the the introduction for it, which will take about five or six minutes. So it's going to be around 25, 30 minutes long. Uh, so during that 25, 30 minutes, you will have the opportunity to, to chat amongst yourselves, and I'm going to try to make it as well uh, for Monday night. After that, immediately after that, you know, at, at 8.29 or whatever, you'll be able to watch it and uh, you'll see the the live comments eventually sometimes they take a little bit of time to to get incorporated with the video but you'll be able to comment on it as you normally would uh, it's, a, it's a good one this year I think uh, it's different from the ones I've done in previous years I'll talk about all that in the intro And then, of course, this coming Friday, we've got ghost stories, and I'm very much looking forward to that. Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Something a little different. And uh, if I can get the technology worked out for that, <laughs> we'll be all set. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed seeing uh, a few of those things and uh, sharing at least my excitement about the, uh, the, the day I had yesterday and the opportunity to meet one of my uh, friends in the YouTube pipe community. I'll see you at all the upcoming events, and until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Bye now.